Hello. Uh, it is not Friday morning. It is Saturday afternoon. And I have some stuff to do out in the garden and in the yard. Uh, I went today and bought some mums to put on our front porch. Um, I usually do this earlier than mid-October, but I haven't really had time and I hadn't had a chance. I just hadn't had a chance. So I'm going to get those planted for the front porch today. Um, I also grabbed while I was at Walmart a container so I can do compost, like actually do compost, like for real this time and not just like say I have compost and then not actually do it. We're going to actually do compost, <laughs> like for real. Um, so I need to drill some holes in that container. And I'm also going to go over here and dig up a flower. So this black eyed Susan right here um, appeared next to the fence. I'm not really sure how or why, but it's here and I'm gonna dig it up and put it in the garden. Now, I do have black-eyed Susans over here. You can kind of see them, they're right there. So I think a bird maybe helped me move this, but I'm gonna dig it up and put it in the garden. I also have out here with me some green onion bottoms that I have had soaking in the house for a couple days. Um, I'm gonna plant these. These are just store-bought green onions or spring onions, and you can cut them. And then if you put them in a cup of water, they'll grow and you can plant them. They'll reroot themselves. So I'm gonna get those planted and um, yeah, just get some stuff done out in the garden really quick. Um, it won't be really quick, but you know, I will say that the garden now, if you can see, everything back here is in the shade right now and it is like 2 p.m. Which is not great. Um, the sun has moved this direction. So I'm worried about my little zucchini over here. Um, I think he's gonna be okay, but we'll see. So here he is. He actually looks pretty good. There's some spotting on his leaves. Um, that I think might be powdery mildew because I don't think it's squash bugs but yeah see I don't see any bugs on him um, there is a hole no that's not a hole okay and I did notice today I have one little carrot I think that's a carrot I don't know maybe it's not but I think it is popping up um, and I also have a couple little tiny green things over here in the radishes, like over here and over here. So here's the bin I bought for compost. Um, it is a 18 gallon, 68 liter container. Um, it's like the cold weather approved container. Um, it's called a tough one and it has just a snap-on lid and it snaps on pretty tight because I'm gonna have to roll this around so I wanted to make sure the lid was one that was gonna stay attached so all I'm gonna do is flip it over and then I have my drill out here and I am just going to drill some holes in the bottom and also in the lid and this is just to keep uh, keep it from stinking too bad and it'll also keep um, airflow moving or airflow in there and it'll also let some water in from the top um, you really don't want to have like standing water on the top of it as much as possible I don't think um, so that's basically all I'm going to do oh there's a frog in it that's interesting I've never had a frog in my yard um, so I'm just going to do the same thing with the lid. I'm just going to drill some holes kind of sporadically around. So now all I have to do is just put the lid on and snap it. I did dump the frog out. There's a frog in there. I dumped him out. And I'm going to keep this. 
I'm gonna keep this baby back behind the garage because it will smell a bit. Um, probably not like now since it's getting cooler out and it's gonna be winter soon. Um, but I'm just gonna keep it back here by the garage, by my car. Um, for now though, since it doesn't have anything in it, I don't really want it to blow away. So I'm just gonna throw it in the garage. And um, once I get some leaves raked up to put in here and some food scraps, stuff like that, I will move it outside. So the last thing I want to do out here today is try and plot out next year's tomato situation. So I have my tape measure. Um, I am going to measure the back part of the garden, the short side, to see how long it is because I'm curious about something. Okay, so I measured, I have 13 feet this way and I have 14 feet from this back corner to that arch down there. So here's my thought. I have these two cattle panels right here that are the tomato arch. And as I've said, this is coming down for next spring. So here's what I'm thinking. These panels are 18 feet long and four feet tall. So for next year, I'm going to take the arch down and I'm going to attempt to use all 36 feet of them to the fullest potential. So my plan, I have 13 feet across and I have 16 feet from that corner over to right over there where that marigold is. So if I bring it, I'll bring this, these panels all the way out to here, that's 16 feet. I'd only have to go two feet in to fill all that in. And that would leave me with 11 feet. And then I could bring it up seven feet. And then I would have panels from here all the way down there they would turn and go all the way across and then come up seven feet which let's see how far up seven feet is so seven feet is where the zucchini is now so that would still leave me room here where the peppers are to do things like peppers. Um, so I'm trying to decide if that's what I want to do. I for sure want to put the panels um, long ways and for sure want to put them back here along the back. But I think what I may do is just make them even. So this is 13 feet. So um, let's say it's 12 feet. So six foot of each panel. So that would mean it would come up by 12 feet. So that would be about two right there. And then I'd have some room. I may actually do that. Um, and then that would pretty much bring it up to these strawberries here. I think that might be the plan. We'll see. Um, I think it'll work. I think that'll work out the way I think it will. Uh, which would be nice. Um, I just want to be able to plant more indeterminate tomatoes next year. Um, and I don't want my tomatoes to take up literally half of my garden space. 
So I am hoping um, that by doing it this way, I'll have more opportunity to plant things like squash and more peppers. Uh, maybe the peppers will do better, you know, that would be nice. That kind of thing. So today was just a random assortment of stuff I needed to get done out here. So that's what it's a day in the life. So thanks for watching. No, okay. And I will see you in the next one.